Manpreet Khalsa, here's the thing. You go celebrate 9-11, you reenact 9-11 in the streets of Toronto, Brampton or Washington DC, then let's see where you end up. Why would we do that? Why would yeah, we do that? Yeah, that's the point, we because you won't do it, because you think that's the wrong thing to do. Because you know that you'll be arrested, that's why you innocent, won't do it. Any innocent, whether it be Sikh, whether it be Hindu, whether it be Muslim, you continuously saying we are a fringe minority, go open your eyes. There was, th there was a 10 mile jam on Canadian motorway to vote for Khalistan in Khalistan referendum in Brampton. Nearly 80,000 people voted on the day one. You need to, you know, for closure, you need to know the other side of story. No propaganda. You need to open your eyes to the facts. Anybody who lives in diaspora, majority of them are Khalistanis. And you need to uh, understand Don't be ridiculous. This. That's you need absolutely to absurd. This. There are so no. many people I know personally, family and friends, who are far from toxic, far from Khalistani. They're as sane, sensible, smart as smart can be. And do not, do not, do not tarnish them with the same kind of vile brush that paints across your face, that paints through your mind, because that is simply not true. That is a factual inaccuracy. This is a small group of people with poisonous intent and people who need to be acted against. And the mightiest country democ democratically needs to send a stern message to the government of Justin Trudeau that this is not acceptable. Uh, way, Terry, do you want to come way, in on the Terry? Own, do you want to come in own, on the hypocrisy? Uh, uh, Manpreet Khalsa would never the, celebrate 9/11 uh, because he knows where he'll end up if he did. Couple of facts. First, the only way that a Khalistani politician could get, can get elected in Canada at any level, at the federal or provincial level, is to disguise, conceal, and deny the fact that he's a Khalistani. You have to you have to pretend you're not a Khalistani in order to get elected. That's how much support. Khalistan has among the Sikh diaspora in Canada, Australia, Germany, UK, you name it. It's a tiny minority. And any pretense that it's a majority runs headlong into the fact that they can't even get any support to elect any members at all in the elections in Punjab. The last one they got, what, two and a half percent of the vote, no seats. The one before that they got less than one percent of the vote. There is no support. It's a tiny minority. That is a fact. The second thing I want to make uh, point is, remember, we're not just reenacting the assassination of Indira Gandhi in the streets of Brampton, Ontario. Uh, first of all, by the way, that, that is the largest province in Canada. It's not some little province. So we shouldn't pay any attention to Ontario. It is the largest and most powerful province in Canada by far. It's 15 million people. Okay? So let's forget that. Second thing is, that in Canada, because you have to disguise your Khalistani sympathies, you have to pretend, uh, you have to go around it sideways. The only, uh, you have to do what Jagmeet Singh, the leader of the NDP, upon whose favor the current uh, liberal government of Justin Trudeau depends for its survival, well, what he does is he, he, he tweets things like, well, um, uh, the 1984 was all about the Indian state massacring worshippers. So that's how he characterizes Bindranwali, a worshipper. Innocent worshippers were massacred by the Indian state. Now, so so you, can, you can find out by reading that and reading between the lines that he's trying to whitewash what Bindranwali did. He's trying to whitewash the murders that occurred before Operation Blue Star, and he's trying to whitewash Sikh terrorism that happened in the 1980s to include the 1985 bombing of Air India 182. So what's happening here is that the, the uh, representatives that we've invited on this show to, to speak up for the Khalistan cause are engaging in whataboutism. They say, oh, well, why don't you talk about the Sikh genocide 1984? Well, we're here to discuss an absolutely disgraceful event, the celebration, not just the reenactment, but the celebration of the murder of an, a, de a, de a de democratically elected prime minister of the world's largest democracy, Indira Gandhi, the celebration of that assassination by uh, nuts, a small minority of nuts, in Ontario, Canada. This is a serious matter which should not be countenanced by Canadian politicians. I don't say it shouldn't be allowed by Canadian law because of the freedom of speech issue, but it should not be countenanced. And India needs to do more than just bang the table and say, lock them up. That's not enough. India needs to say, okay, we've had enough. 
we're not going to deal with Canadian politicians who will not explicitly and clearly denounce publicly every time they see an event like this, every incident, not just one, but every incident of the celebration of gl and glorification of violence by Canadian Khalistanis. If you're going to play that game, as Jagmeet Singh does, as all the parties do, have you seen any objection from the mayor of Brampton, Patrick Brown, a prominent conservative? Uh, has he denounced the, this display in the streets of his city? No, not a peep, not a peep. And India should, Indian politicians should be more clever and say, instead of just banging the table and pleasing the crowd at home and saying, lock them up, they should say, okay, we are going to take action. We are not going to deal with any Canadian politician who comes here looking for a trade agreement or for access to the Indian market. We are not going to deal with you unless you explicitly, publicly denounce these, this endorsement no, of terrorism. You're calling this a liberal government. I just want to cite Canada. once again action that Justin Trudeau has taken, uh, acting against gas pipeline protesters uh, who are on a two-week pro two, two protest, uh, strongly acting against them acting against those who are protesting outside hospitals. Uh, very strongly in September 2021, Justin Trudeau acted against them. Acting against well, anti-vaccine protesters. He didn't he like what they were fact, protesting, acting fact, against them, using, in fact, the Emergency Act, using the Emergency Act to crack down on anti-vaccine mandate protesters. And acting well, against those who are protesting Canada, as part of the Freedom Canada's Convoy, Canada's which is blocking up the Canada-U.S. border. This is it, a hypocritical is government, far from being a liberal it government. When it suits them, they act. And I, and I think the message that needs to go out is a message that's very clear, and it is this, that these actions are not acceptable. And if they act, then the relations between the people of India and the government of Canada cannot be normal. The Indian government, apart from the very strong censure by Dr. Jay Shankar, needs to do more because China is not acting in a manner in which a friendly country would. If these are the fringe, if they are the extremists, you take action against them and speak up against them. Don't give them social sanction. It just makes yes. my blood boil. This is terrible. And uh, Manpreet Khalsa, far from reflecting the view of the average Sikh, yours is the minority view and it's also a vile view. It's a view that should get no space. It's a view that most certainly does not represent the view of the Sikh psyche.